All right, everybody, my name is Michael Chernow, founder of Creatures of Habit, and I am going to talk to you today about the holidays and some fitness hacks. Here's the deal. During the holidays, things get sometimes overwhelming, sometimes stressful. If we're traveling, we're not getting to the gym that we're used to training at, or if you train at home, you're not able to get to your garage where you tend to train at home. Here, here's the deal, it, it's okay. Walk into this holiday season understanding that there are going to be some things that you're gonna to have to acclimate to. There are going to be some changes to your routine, especially if you're traveling. One thing to note, 10,000 steps a day is essential. If you can land 10,000 steps, walking steps a day, you have accomplished a lot, okay? Another thing to think about when you're traveling, something that I do, is because fitness is so important to me, wherever I'm traveling to, I do some prep work before I get there. I try to find the closest gym so that I can get to train while I'm there. That doesn't mean I'm gonna train every single day, but that does mean that I know that I have a gym in proximity to where I'm staying. If there is no gym where you're staying, the easiest thing to do is carry bands with you when you travel, carry a TRX with you when you travel, and potentially a jump rope. If you don't love running and you wanna get some, some energy out in the morning that's easy and mobile, I always have a jump rope with me. Banging out 20 minutes of, of skipping is awesome. Now, holiday fitness when you're in your routine. Keep it the same, keep it the same. If you wanna give yourself a day off on Christmas or Christmas Eve, by all means, go for it. But just because it's the holidays doesn't mean you need to put, you know, lay off the gas for your self-love and self-care. You know that training makes you feel good. And if you're not currently training right now, I promise you that this would be an amazing time to gift yourself training in your life. Because a combination of training, good nutrition, and positive mindset activities, everything else will fall into place in your life. This holiday season is the perfect time to start implementing those things into your life if you're not already doing it. And if you are already doing it, there's so many different opportunities for you to stay consistent throughout the holidays. So just know, you're not alone. We all are walking into the holiday season. We all are gonna eat more than normal, and it's okay. Your body is a machine. And even if you fall off the, off the rails nutritionally over the holidays, your body will come back to what it knows best, where it feels best. It's not gonna completely destroy you if you have a few days of, uh, of, of eating some really, really delicious food over the holidays. As a matter of fact, it's really, really healthy to do that. Um, just make sure you keep your meal one in your travel bag at all times because it is the best way to start your day every single day no matter where you are on the planet. So one thing that I also want to mention about holiday uh, fitness with a little bit of nutrition is uh, what I like to do. So I know that if I've spent an evening just eating whatever the hell I want, especially over the holidays, I will the next day make sure to train and I will make sure to train fasted. Fasted training is something that I've been accustomed to for a very long time. I, I trained fasted for years bodybuilding because I wanted to make sure that I was not adding body fat to my body composition. So I always trained fasted. Now that I've transitioned more into CrossFit, I really do like to have some nutrition in me because of the, the workouts are, are, are really intense, a little bit more intense in terms of uh, volume than my bodybuilding stuff. CrossFit is volume packed into a very, very short period of time, which takes a lot of, of energy. So if you've overeaten on the holidays, don't beat yourself up. Train fasted in the morning. Train fasted in the morning. You're going to have enough glycogen in your, in your muscles uh, to really get through a, an intense workout the following morning and potentially burn off some of that potential fat that was going to accumulate over eating lots of food the, the day before. So don't beat yourself up, be easy on yourself, allow yourself the, the, to treat yourself over the holiday season, but like a few little hacks is, you know, training fasted in the morning, or if you're not gonna go lift weights in the morning, go on a, go on a fasted jog, you know, go burn some, some of that energy off uh, in a jog. 
it, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's totally possible to get through the holidays and eat well um, and not put on a bunch of body fat. So just know it's possible and you can do it.